Meanwhile, the Congress party has released fourth list of the candidates. Former Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Digvijay Singh, who has been a veteran leader of the party, will be contesting from Rajgarh. While Ajay Rai, expectedly to contest from Varanasi, like he has done in the previous tenures against Prime Minister Narendra Modi. P. Chidambaram's son, Karthi Chidambaram, will be contesting from Shivaganga. 46 candidates were announced in the fourth list of Lok Sabha. And uh, we're told Assam, Andaman, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Mizoram, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Bengal were some of those. So, Digvijay Singh, Ajay Rai, Karthi Chidambaram were the notable names that have been announced. Rahul Gautam joining me on the phone line for that. Rahul, so Digvijay Singh still not backing out, still a very significant part of Congress party when it comes to electoral politics for Lok Sabha elections. But also, let's talk about Karthi Chidambaram, why Congress thinks he is uh, still an important factor. And, you know, I think for me the most interesting has always been Ajay Rai to constantly stand against Prime Minister Modi, who's of course had a certain stronghold now in Varanasi. Uh, and it's... it's in, in a way, it's a difficult contest in many ways for him, and yet he's always taken up that responsibility. Uh, absolutely, Buddha. Uh, you know, as far as Ajay Rai is concerned, uh, uh, his constituency, uh, uh, you know, uh, is uh, quite near to, uh, is part of Banaras, uh, only in fact, Pintra constituency, and he has been challenging Prime Minister Narendra Modi for past uh, two, uh, 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 you know, two elections. And uh, he's somebody who is local over there, uh, knows the organization and therefore parties posed, uh, you know, uh, confidence in him again and this time around we all know that he's also the PCC president of Congress party and again, uh, you know, we'll be seeing him, uh, uh, you know, challenging and contesting against Prime Minister Modi, uh, uh, you know, from uh, Banaras. As far as Karthi Chidambaram is concerned, we all know uh, that uh, he has been, uh, uh, you know, a very vocal critic of uh, Modi government and in fact has been raising various issues in the national capital as well and has been attacking, uh, you know, Modi government there in, in Tamil Nadu as well. And therefore, you know, after getting surveys and after getting the, uh, you know, feedback from the workers and from the organization, party thought that uh, it would be wise to, uh, uh, you know, give ticket to Prakash Chitambaram, which would uh, obviously uh, uh, be enhancing the electoral fortunes of the party in, in, in Tamil Nadu and will also uh, give a message that uh, if he's going to perform, then he's going to repeat it uh, in the parliament, parliament as well. Now, there are other names also, for, for example, Dick Vijay Singh, we all know, uh, you know, uh, there, there has been, uh, you know, talks that how senior leaders of Congress party are developing cold. Uh... Okay. Rahul Gautam uh, telling us all about the Congress candidates who have been announced for the Lok Sabha elections.